Well, let your mercy and your favor speak for her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything that's not of God in her life, in her mind, in her body, I command it out. I command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, every demonic influence, I command it out right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have to bow to this name in the name of Jesus Christ. I command it out in the mighty name of Jesus. And you know, there is darkness. I command it out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Follow the ghost. Follow the ghost. Follow the ghost. Let any chain be broken over her life. Every curse that's hanging over her life be broken right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you demonic spirit, you spirit of darkness, I command it out, out, out in the mighty name of Jesus right now. I command it out right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Who are you? Who are you? Loose her right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Follow the ghost. And so right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Pain. Your pain. Suffering. How did you enter her life? And so right now in the mighty name of Jesus, how did you enter her life? When she was a child. When she was a child. What have you done in her life? I caused her to suffer. You caused her to suffer. How did you cause her to suffer? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You pain and suffering, your time has expired. In Jesus' name, you must go right now. Leave her body. Leave her body. Leave her life right now. No more pain. No more suffering. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cast you out right now. We command you out of, out of her life. Out of her body. Out of her mind right now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost in her mind and her heart right now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You cannot stand against the name of Jesus. I command you out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose her right now. Every pain, every suffering, every spirit of suffering. I command you out right now. Every spirit of pain. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You demonic spirit, you unclean spirit. Out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her life right now. Out of her life, out of her body. Right now, you must go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single one of you. Every single one of you right now. Leave her in the mighty name of Jesus. Leave her. No one's left behind. Every single one of you. Out. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. You must obey in the mighty name of Jesus. You must obey the command. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, no more pain, no more suffering. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare you free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome you today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you begin by telling us your name and where you're from? My name is Elena Tenacliffe, and I'm from the Tri-Cities. And Elena, can you tell us what is the problem that brought you here today to receive prayer with the anointing water? I um, needed deliverance. And what in your life can you say that has made you feel like you needed deliverance? A lot of things, actually, because for one, I was never able to, you know, every time I get money, it always ends up leaving, and... I have a lot of pains in my body, in my body, <laughs> in my body. And when you were receiving that prayer with the anointing water, do you remember anything that was happening to you? At first I felt like there was fire coming over my body, and then from there I don't remember. The evil spirit had mentioned that it had been the cause of pain and suffering in your life. What events in your life can you recall that uh, would confirm this? Ever since I was little, my, my parents were really never around. And my mom and dad had gotten divorced when I was three. And my mom had a night shift, so I never really got to see her. And then from there, because she wasn't around, I wasn't able to grow up pop properly. And um, <coughs> I um, ended up getting into um, bad things in my life. 
and it progressively got worse and worse. The evil spirit had also mentioned that it was the cause of everything not being able to go right in your life. What can you say about this? Every time I try and do something, it really just doesn't go right. Like, I, I have mostly F's and D's in my school, and no matter what I tried to do, I would always just get horrible grades. <coughs> I even, it even went to the point where I had to go see really expensive tutors, and that only helped a little bit until I stopped seeing them. And then I started getting bad grades again. And then <coughs> I also got a job, and that wasn't going very well either because I ended up um, <coughs> getting influenced by the wrong people again. And and it just wasn't working out. And so. And so now that you have received that prayer with the anointing water, do you believe that Jesus Christ has healed you and delivered you from this problem of pain and suffering? Yes, I believe that very much. And now as you're going to continue to walk out your daily life, what do you believe that Jesus Christ will do for you? I believe that he's going to be able to make me able to focus and do well in school, that I'll be able to find a good job, that I'll be able to succeed in everything I do that is within his will. Amen. Well, we believe that Jesus Christ has fully healed you and delivered you from this evil spirit that had caused pain and suffering. And now we want to encourage you that as you have been delivered by God's word, that you will be ruled by God's word and make his word the standard for your life so that this healing and deliverance will remain permanent in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.